Now then, I hope everybody's well. I've seen comments in the past, and I've seen some more recently, on people that are struggling to, on how to charge the supplied internal battery, the 1400 milliamp hour battery that comes supplied with the ASU FT817. They're struggling how to charge it. So a quick video to show you how I charge mine. So the first thing we have to do is install the supplied, supplied battery pack into the 817 transceiver. Hope you can see that. This little, this little clip here, I don't have that over tight, makes it that easy to remove. You probably saw how easy that was to remove. Don't, don't get that too tight. Don't get it too loose as well. This will lose it. The connector on the battery only goes one way. You can't really get this wrong, but just be careful, don't go forcing it. So connect that up. I put the battery in that side first, the wire end, I just took it away. And when you put the battery cover back on, just make sure you don't trap the wires. Do the back first, done. So that's the battery installed. Let's go and charge it. So back in the shack now, I've got the 817 connected to my normal power supply, which, which is a five amp power supply used to run this radio, but any normal power supply used to run your radio will do. Switch the 817 on. What you need to do is press and hold this function button. Just press and hold into the menu of the 817. As with all Yesu radios, the menu system is in alphabetical order, it's pretty good. So you're looking for menu number 11, battery charge. For the 817 with a 1400 milliamp hour battery, an 8 hour charge is spot on. I'm not sure what it is with the 818, perhaps someone can tell me in the comments. I've not owned an 818 as yet. If you need to change the charge time, just use your VFO. You see, 10 hours, eight hours, six hours. Eight hour charge is spot on for this, this battery with this radio. Press and hold the function again. Come out of the menu. What you need to do then, that same function button, press and release. The select knob now allows you to change what the ABC buttons do. This is power meter mod, whatever. Just scroll through, you're looking for charge, voltage and display. Notice the charge is on the A button. Press the charge button. See the bottom right hand corner of the display, the battery is starting to charge. All you need to do, turn your 817 off. And it says on the display there, charge time remaining, seven hours 59. Don't turn your power supply off, of course, and that uh, internal battery is charging quite happily. Now, what it'll do in the charge time, it'll count down when it gets to zero. The display will clear, the radio will pretty much shut itself down. So that's how I charge the internal battery on my 817. Okay, so I hope that's been of use. That's how I charge the internal battery of the 817. I expect there'll be a flurry of comments saying the internal battery is next to useless, throw it away, you don't need whatever, use this battery, use that battery. And we've all got us personal preferences. On 2 meter FM, I've done two SOTO activations in the day using the supplied internal battery. I did Great Wernside and then Buckden Pike, and I still have battery left when I come home. It all depends on your transmit receive ratio. If you're one of these people who likes to key the microphone and tell your life story, the battery won't last very long. But when you're generally activating something, you're out portable. Uh, you're pretty much giving references and signal reports anyway. Okay, so it, it does work. You'll get an hour out of it, as I say, quite easily. More so on SSB. So thanks for watching. All the best for the new year. And we'll see you for some more portable activities. 73 Chris, M0RSF.